this very spot. We're at that uh, lockdown zone marker, but there's nothing physical to see here. There's no barrier. There's nothing to stop people uh, traveling in and out, but they have been told that they must only make their journeys in and out if it's absolutely essential. Instead, this city now has an invisible line running around it, which for the time being at least changes everything. Day one of Leicester's local lockdown, and on the city's Melton Road, it's all still sinking in. It is scary. It is scary, yeah. Because number is going high and high and high. This is your first day out of the house in a long time. How yep. long? Nearly four months. Nearly four months? Yeah. And you do that on the day that Leicester's... Going to go, <laughs> go back onto lockdown again. How do you feel about that? Um, upset. Looking at a map, the purple area shows you Leicester's normal city boundary. The blue line is the lockdown zone, which takes in a number of outlying districts as well. Chris's shop is right on the edge, but there isn't enough detail yet for him to know if he's a few metres inside or outside the lockdown line. We've only just opened. We've had to totally restock the shop. Um, spent quite a bit of money in putting things in place and then to have to close again, um, possibly lay staff off. It's uh, uncertain times and it's just not, it's not good. Uncertain times for a whole city. More detail to come on how police might enforce some local lockdown measures here and on why Leicester has seen a spike in cases. At the moment, we do not have precise data on is this a ethnic related issue my suspicions are it may be a geographical related issue. In other words, uh, housing, crowded housing, extended families. 10, 15, Another part of this for Leicester, schools closing to most pupils later this week. I don't think it's fair because the little ones have only just really started to go back. The school has done everything possible. It's actually, you know, compromising their education. The health secretary sought to reassure parents and teachers. Well, the good news about uh, children is that they are very, very, very unlikely to be, um, to be badly affected themselves in terms of getting ill, but they still do transmit. And so when we sent in those extra mobile testing units, one of the things we found is a number of children testing positive. City streets falling quiet again, a local lockdown the whole country will watch closely. Indeed, and on that point, Peter, Leicester facing two weeks of further lockdown. How likely is it that other towns and cities might have to do the same? Well, it all comes down to the numbers, certainly, but also how this plays out, because what happens here is going to be a real test of the government's strategy moving forward. If we are, as a country, as a nation, to get back to some kind of, in inverted commas, normal, then they need to know that they can apply this local break a network as and where they have to. The big test, of course, will be this coming weekend when nearby cities like Nottingham and Birmingham are really starting to open up and people here are being told, no, that's not for you, you can't do that. So we will have to see initially how the weekend plays out.